go to the dollar store. I used to use when I was poor. I used to use the dollar store ones. I got some but, regular. Oh, candles. you can just get any candle. No, no, no. So I'm gonna give you my method, and uh, a lot of people don't like this. I've never had a house fire in 12 years. You get the jar seven day candles white. Yes. Jar seven day candle white. You take that candle. And you set your intentions, and I mean, you get into a meditative state, it's best to do. Um, it's really good to have an altar, a sacred space where you're doing it. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. But if you can get yourself a little area, a corner of the house, sacred space, clear your minds, set your intentions to that white candle, light that candle, and then forget about it. And watch your intentions come in. And right, when, cool. when you, you know, you start manifesting stuff, go, holy shit, that guy's not nuts. I've manifested a lot of things, people. Yeah. Houses, jobs. Um, the only thing, unfortunately, uh, you can't manifest through anything. You can do it, but you shouldn't, is relationships, friendships. Those things, everybody has free will. Yeah. And when you go against somebody's free will, now you're getting more into a, a, a left-hand path or dark yeah, path. Yeah, darker path. You don't want to do that. Because you're, in a way, controlling somebody else yeah and you don't want to do that right because then the relationship might suck what's well, gonna suck you're gonna get your karmic debt for that because yeah. you're doing something when you do something uh you get it's threefold rule you do something against somebody else tenfold have fun with that shit yeah uh, you know i know a guy from the ottawa tribe uh the, one of the shamans there got mad at somebody he did a a ritual with a crow he smashed it killed it and they took the blood he did something to kill this other guy sure as shit it worked guys but then four days later he died so yeah. you, you know don't go around uh you know trying to go against somebody else's free will i started believing in karma when like the first three months of my relationship yeah, I cheated on her. Like first time I've ever oh, cheated yeah, so you on got anybody. Cheated on, didn't you? The day after she cheated on me, well, of course. And I was like, "This shit is real." But it, it like it's worked out that and, like I always think now is like if we didn't do that, we would not be who we are. Look, today. yeah, yeah. You have to go through those experiences. Everything. Yeah. And look at, look. You know, the the worst experiences, man, are the ones that you grow the most from. You yes. evolve. Smacking that darkness on your ass, man. Go yeah. through something. Those are the ones where you evolve. And if you can stay centered, you can really, really raise your consciousness quick. Yeah. That is that is what I've found, too. But you do. It's, it's not even karma is like the word that they call it. So, again, I'm going to plug it again. Hermetic philosophy. Cut all this other bullshit out, guys. Go right to the source of the oldest... T- uh, literature that we have on the planet the Egyptians had mystery schools for it, that knowledge is what everything's based off it's the rules of the material universe there's seven of them and if you can learn those seven and one of them is cause and effect that would be karma yeah what you do you get back you know it's it what do you know all the seven uh, off the top of my head duality is one uh, everything's in motion uh, everything moves is two uh, um, uh, law of cause and effect um Polarity. Everything has polar opposites. Yeah. So uh, it's four of them. Um, man, not off the top of my head. I can pull them up. Let's pull them up and go over them together. All right. Since we're it on sounds pretty interesting, though. Like this stuff. So this is like what we've been looking for for the podcast. You know what I mean? We've been trying to get guests on to talk about this, but it's really hard to get people to do this because then you're like, you're like, can you just come for free for like two, three hours on your Sunday? And just talk about everything you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, and people and people are weird about it too. So I'm glad I'm glad you are here. Like, oh, dude. badass. This is I'm sick. glad I met you guys. I'm probably in a friends with you guys. Yeah, you know, uh, we might have to go like get a beer next energy. weekend. We could get a beer. You ever after. you ever drink like brewery beers? I'll, you know, oh, take I'm you to sure. the brewery. It's I'm not nice. a big craft fan, but I do it. They I, got I, stuff that's not too crafty. I know, too. I get the like the one that's closest to like Bud Light. I'm like a redneck. They that's like me too. But that's I like weird. Mexican beer. That's my favorite beer. Really? Like Corona? Uh, Modelo, Modelo. Dos Equis. I don't like Corona. It tastes like ass. Dos Equis is good. I don't know. I'm like a huge Bush Light kind of guy. All right, guys. There's Here we go, man. Heavy over there. Cut you <laughs> off on your own podcast for this one. No, it's good. Okay, so the seven principles of uh, Hermetic Philosophy. The principle of mentalism. I already told you guys this. All is mind. The universe is mental. Rule number one. You grab my hoodie. Rule number two, the principle of correspondence. As above, so below. As within, so without. Okay? Yep. Princi- principle number three is the principle of vibration, which I kind of went over. Everything vibrates. Nothing rests. Everything moves. Everything vibrates. Everything. Yes, so even like something dead? Everything. 
The principle of polarity. Nothing's ever dead. That's the fun part about it. Again, yeah. man, nothing really dies. But you go in, back in, like, um, you know, a lot of ancient philosophers will tell you, like, all the answers are in nature. Because they are. If you really sit and watch nature with a quiet mind, you realize, like, the tree in the fall, the leaves die, they go to the ground, they create fertilizer, they all cycle. Yeah. Um, the uh, Number four is the principle of polarity. And this is what we talked about. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. This is my favorite hoodie that I wear almost every day. Read it real quick. Where mind meets soul. Yeah, buddy, it's like this every day. <laughs> you created you created my ass in your seat over here. Um, so the principle of polarity is number four. Everything's dual. Everything has poles. Everything is pair of opposites, uh, and so on and so forth. The paradox cannot be reconciled. Um, that, that, that everything's dualistic. Even this conversation, you guys could take a negative approach to me or a positive. Everything's dualistic. Right. Uh, the fifth principle of the universe or hermetic philosophy is the uh, principle of rhythm. So everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. Again, if the pendulum swings left, it's got to come back equal distance left. Right, right. Two lefts don't make it right. Uh, number six, the principle of cause and effect. We went over that one a lot. Every cause has its effect. And then finally, the uh, seventh principle is the principle of gender. I should have known that one. Everything has uh, masculine and feminine. So... You know, we both have masculine and feminine properties. Um, obviously, uh, it doesn't always go that way. You have people, um, gay community, that have a lot of feminine energy and, and less masculine. That's fine. And um, But, you know, there's no judging on any of that shit. But everybody has a masculine and a feminine aspect. Everything has the principle of gender. No. Nature, humans, the universe, the planets, the energy, all of it. Yeah. And there was some, uh, you know... Um, I forget if it's uh, mad. right now we're ruled for a very powerful masculine energy yeah. force. Uh, 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 yeah, everything's like create, smash, fuck you. Yes, that is huge. Right and now. Uh, we need to come back to a more feminine energy, and uh, the feminine energy is more nurturing, caring. Yeah, you know, squiggly. That's a, that's definitely like a different look on it. If but you now, balance it now. Nowadays, you see like a lot of women on social media like kill all men and shit like that. Oh though. yeah, yeah. That's all you know mental belief systems of, you know, uh, the uh, women movement or something. It's no different than, like, these race movements for anybody doing that shit. At the end of the day, man, why label and title anybody anything? Yeah. I think it's all just sometimes it can just get a little out of hand with that shit lately. It, big time it's out of hand. It well, is people of it, divide and conquer yeah. again. But if you, if you take anything to the extreme like that, I mean... Sometimes people just want something to fucking validate them or they just want something to belong to and they just get involved in these movements. I'm not knocking anybody. Go ahead and do it. But when you start a movement and then you take another aspect out of it, you already are broken. Yeah. Because you got to take in the, everything. That's why I just kind of stay clear of all that shit. You know what I mean? I feel like that's just <laughs> negative shit for it me. It is. Why, it's why I get into it. I don't, I don't like to read about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't judge anybody, man. I'll tell you I was raised like... I was raised like... You know, most people like my age, 40s, uh, were raised around people that were raised like, if you're gay, you're going to hell. And uh, <laughs> I, wor I worked at a massage school. Right. And I had some of the hardest times of my life. That was the first job I had after my seven years of like fucking spiritual mayhem. And the gay people there were the nicest people that saved my ass. Yeah, I know. And they were the only people I've ever seen that say something and actually do what the fuck they say they're going to do. Yeah. So it's like, That's wait a minute, a I was lied rich. to, man. I fucking love gay people more than I like straight people. Yeah. Straight people are egotistical fuckers. Yeah. Gay people, are they've already been through the trenches. Yeah. And then I figured it out. Once I learned the rules of the universe, wait a minute. What if somebody died fast and were recycled fast and they were like this real masculine person and then they were thrown into a fucking woman vessel? Oh, yes. light bulbs started going off. Like, yeah. hey, I get it now. I yeah. get it now, man. I get it. Everybody, they, they were in that vessel with a different energy. So mode it be. Leave them alone, man. Yeah, uh, for and, real. And actually, like I said, the, that community. Now, there's actually exceptions to the rules of that community too. We all, you know, but that community, for the most part, is a far more accepting, harmonious community. So. Yeah, very open, and like 
Yeah, yeah because they've, they've had to hide a secret from a bunch yeah. of belief systems, and they've fucking lived in a corner. Like, I can't tell my dad, the pastor. Yeah. Uh, the fucking, I can't tell my church parents that um, I'm against what in they've been taught. In orbit's right now. Yeah. Can't find his vape. He's, he's touching all of his pockets. We're going on a lot of shit on this podcast, I know, I dude. It. We're, we're this touching is a good. lot. You got to. This oh. creepy girl in the corner is freaking me out. I still don't know who she is. I don't know if it's your girlfriend. This is Caitlin. <laughs> a friend. <laughs> I don't know what. Are you his girlfriend? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure no, out. No, That's his sister. Is your sister? No. <laughs> <laughs> they look exactly alike. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. a burn to Caitlin. Yes. Yeah, sorry, Caitlin. Oh, you do, you do. Like your dog starts looking like you. So you got, <laughs> you got. <laughs> so you got plagued a little bit, get a little bit of his looks. All right, sorry to hear that. She didn't have any tattoos before she met him. Yeah, you didn't even have a tattoo. Yeah, nope. Okay. Now her hands are tatted. I wish. <laughs> Shout out Caitlin though. Yeah. Shout out to Caitlin. Yeah. yeah. Yep. She's got a cool. She's got a cool energy. I see her up there going like, "I told you, fuckers, this." Yeah, yeah. No, I, I seen I, it. I knew a lot of this stuff. I know you did. Yeah, yeah. Look at your eyes. Look at mine. Yeah. She's a uh, reason. We're here for. A she reason. used to do video, but then we had to scrap the video aspect because her camera could only record thirty minutes at a time. Yeah. Let me get. Know how to edit your let, hey. shit. <laughs> yes. No. That's what it was. No. Now I can edit, but. I only edit with videos that I take. Well, so. I, I let me. <laughs> you want to come at me like that? <laughs> Getting called out. Yeah, you're, you're underpaid, underappreciated, huh? Oh, Caitlin doesn't get paid, and then she'll take videos of me, and I'll upload them all. Yeah. And I just made like a 10 minute YouTube video <laughs> with everything she her. took, and I forgot to credit it. <laughs> you got no credit. <laughs> I gotta go edit Except it today. I, gotta post them. I know who hangs. I know who uh, holds it down around here. Yeah, now yeah. you know. You're I behind forgot. the scenes. This you guy's all really fucking. Going on. This guy's got 45 beer cans passed out. Yes, Caitlin's sir. videoing and editing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I do all the editing. Caitlin just gets the video. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm really hands on with my work as of like lately. Dude, like, hey man, do it up, bro. Yeah. Um, get get super huge, man, and blow it up, and don't ever stop doing your own shit, man. Yeah. What's the point? That's man? what I'm saying. Like. All these people want to sign to like labels and management and shit, but I'm like, fuck that. I did this on my own. I'm my own boss. I'm going to be damned what if, if someone's going to tell me what to do. What if you became a and you still went out and started plugging cords in? That's a real person there. Yeah. That shit is awesome. That's the way it should be. That's what I'll always do, though. I'll never stop doing it. Some days I might have writers helping me like with ideas and shit. Like I might develop a team that we can write together, but I'll still credit everyone on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be like these famous artists now that are like, we did this. I'll be like DJ Khaled where it's like, you see that list of credits for like an album of his and there's like two, three hundred people on it. Cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got it. You like, we talked about, man, the strength and unity and you, you can't make it all about your damn self. Yeah, no. And the more people you bring in, the more you expand, man, your tribe and you expand for everybody benefits. Yeah. Like, you know, that's why I think meeting people is really important, too, is you got to always be like, yeah, open to meeting it people. is cool meeting networking, right? It is. But then what if you're networking and you're meeting the wrong people, meeting the yeah, right, right people, right? Yeah. Meeting the right people on the same frequency. Yeah. And, but that's what's happening. That's what happens, right? Your frequency's here. Then you're going to attract. If it's coming to do a concrete job for a day, you're going to attract your same frequency. It's just yeah. the way it works, man. That's why I feel like I'm at Austin. It is. Dude, that dude's, Austin's burning, dude. He is. Austin's up there, man. Me and Austin known each other uh, from the t- beginning of my journey. I've probably known Austin a good twelve or thirteen years now, and he, you know, we, me and him both had a journey. So he's he's he's. That dude he just told you, me some crazy. Get him shit. on your podcast. We've been trying to, yeah. and he never comes. He keeps like finding other things to. Austin do. can get into uh, the same stuff, and he goes into a different uh, look at it. But we're all telling you the same truth. Me and Austin have had some. He had a hard time with me uh, for a while with the DNA thing. He's like, you can't, everybody has the ability. I'm like, Austin, I'm sorry. Everybody don't have the ability. And we kept arguing about it. And then finally in Arizona, we were meditating. We went on a huge journey in Arizona. I just went there actually like a month ago. Yeah, but he finally, I think, I hope he hears this, he finally agrees with me. I said, Austin, what you're not getting is we are all equal at a soul level. But... Each human vessel has different DNA and different cultures behind it, and there's a certain DNA. And the way I explained it to him was, okay, let's say that these souls all went and they got Pintos as bodies, but these souls got fucking Maserati Lamborghinis as bodies. They're not equal no more. Right. 
take the gas out, it's all equal, but uh, not everybody's equal. It's just right. not the way it is. It's, it's not the way the universe works. Not Everything's not equal, but everybody does have the ability to uh, raise their consciousness, and that's kind of why I jumped on this. I, everybody needs to search outside of the box and raise their consciousness. If we can raise it all up, all together, call it whatever you want to call it, but just make sure the intentions behind it are, are, are for the whole, yeah. and uh, make sure that... Uh, you're doing some research outside of what you've been taught and then we'll eventually uh, it's going to happen if we do it or don't because the cycle's coming through guys remember everything's a cycle and um, you know it's just be cool if more and more people will step outside of the fear and uh, the beliefs and uh, let's raise this planet up and let's get a, a golden age that's what they call it a golden yeah. age right that's what the golden age yeah. is the golden age was here then it stopped to the Dark Age, then the Golden Age, then the Dark Age. And these are thousands and thousands and thousands of years. The history of human beings or Homo sapiens is far, far longer than what they've taught you. The people that were on this planet before them, far, far. Some, you know, you got Atlantis, you got Lemuria. And then it goes on before that we can't even track. It's This is infinite. Yeah. Yeah. So it's oh, a yeah. cycle, guys. And it, it, But it's definitely, we're coming back, right? We're coming back to where we're going to get past um, the kind of the rulership that we have we're going to yeah, come back and more it. people are educating themselves on a lot or of we're going to go right into like just a straight like world dictatorship it's possible but that's where i think we are going right now that's fine we already we've been in a dictatorship you know what you know what dude my favorite quote is the easiest way to enslave somebody is to let them believe that they are free yeah, yeah. that's like that's what we're in right now okay so, so that's yeah, that's where we're at. Bro. Where the government can just come in your house. Oh, they fucking oh, they do don't shit. Need to. They don't give a they shit. They don't need to. I had a buddy. I don't know what he did in the military. I had a buddy in the military. He told me that they can look right through your fucking windows with the shit they have, man. Yeah. They don't need to come to your house. Hey, everybody's got a cell phone. Got Facebook Messenger app. I can tell you this firsthand. I talked to the Facebook rep. They are listening to everything you say. Yeah. You ever sit there and talk to your buddy about a camera, and then uh, all of a sudden you get an ad served for a camera? Yeah. Listen, yeah. that's just Facebook. Yeah. What do you think the government can do? What do you think right. the cabal can do? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, this, this is, uh, it's wild. I keep my camera taped on my laptop. I keep a thing covered. Oh, uh, you're one of those. I have actually a couple of friends that are techies that do the same thing. I'm to the point now. It depends on what Look I'm doing. Look at me. I don't have enough followers. So so here's, here's this guy's going to creep you. I'm sorry I keep interrupting. I'm on No, you're home. good. Here's the thing, dude. So I have a buddy who lives in Texas. He's a genealogy expert. And, um... He basically told me, Jim, they don't start fucking with you until you have over 5,000 followers. He said, once you get over 5,000 followers, you've got a light on your ass. Yeah. And I thought about it. It dawned on me. How many Facebook friends can you have? 5,000. Yep. They cut your ass off. They don't want you to but reach more But then you get five. followers after 5,000. Yeah, they start following your page then. Right. But they cut your ass off. They're yeah. trying to. They're trying to. If you have a real big message and it gets out too fast, then you then you really go against the grain, right? Yeah, I'm like real close to that five thousand mark on Facebook too. That's Let's why I see it. some artists just fucking get. They like just start preaching the same agenda that the government is, and you see their page just get huge in like two years. Yeah, it's probably just something to do with the fucking algorithms of what the softwares do yep. yeah bro i mean yeah 82 more and i'm at that 5,000. get it dude and then, I, and then we're about to get ignorant and then we're getting on that government watch on yep. a good note with that shit you get the followers instead besides raising consciousness you guys can uh, really promote your music and, yeah i pass real good messages most of the time on, on positive the page stuff. Yeah. and then i post like funny shit yeah yeah why not we, we, we were talking about the the candles you know the, yeah. the the tall white ones. Yes. Yeah. She edited a picture of me <laughs> on Jesus's body, so my it's me. <laughs> but we put it on one of them candles, and it is just so funny. It's just <laughs> Jesus Gilbert <laughs> on a prayer candle, yeah. and it is just so nuts. That's why you got a light to make it. Yeah. No, we lit it. I, no, I got them. We, we have plenty of those candles. She has a lot of them. Yes. Get it, man. I'm telling you guys, I want everybody that's in I'm this room. I'm going home today and Everybody one. that's in this room, before thinking I'm nuts, I want you all to have an intention or something that you want to uh, manifest. Make it make it a, a smaller goal so that you can start there. Make it a smaller goal, whatever it is. Again, it can't be like a relationship. But make an intention and light that candle and you tell me if it did or didn't come to you. I guarantee you it fucking will. I did, we got to do it for a safe mood. I just hit a, I did that with the wishing well. The other day, same concept. I was at the wishing well, and a, and a, and I 
now he just said it. So he made seventy G's off Dogecoin. I know that's killer. No, no, that no, wasn't Dogecoin. I would have oh. made nine hundred grand if I would have kept my faith and not took that money out. I would have. I'd be retired now. No, I made seventy grand off uh, penny stocks. You should throw. And a you few know what higher. I do every night, everybody? I have uh, little candles I use. You know what I do before I do trades? I grab little gold and green candles and I set my intentions for that stock and it fucking. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's I know you might have to start texting me stocks that you're. <laughs> oh, bro! Into. Here's the thing, though. Uh, I could text you to them, but you have to you have to watch them constantly. Yeah. So, so you, you just wait for them to go up a few cents. Like, I wait for them to go you... down a few cents, and I watch a pattern. And once I find them go, so if I take a. There's a pit viper bus. Is there a way to pause this? I got my and son down. blowing me up, guys. You yeah, know, we can take a quick break. And we're back from our little break. Just like that, one second for y'all, about fifteen minutes for us. That's how it happens. But we've been sitting here with Jim talking for a long time. We've been just overloading you guys with info. We actually encourage everyone to actually look into this yeah, and not just think yourself. that we're crazy. You know what I mean? Because if you have an open mind to this shit, then you can really start learning about it. But if you just think it's stupid and don't want to, then You'll you're not going to. Yeah, for real. But uh, yeah, we decided that. We might as well just wrap it up here. Jim's been a great guest. Jim, thank you for coming on. Pleasure, man. I can't wait to uh, hit one of those Taco Tuesdays with oh, everybody. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got any closing remarks that you want to make? Look, man, like like they said, we, a lot of stuff that we went over and I've talked today seems kind of like wonky. <coughs> but keep in mind, again, that uh, when you got a belief system, you're programmed into something. So to, to evolve as a human being, as a soul, you need to look at past your belief system throw all your beliefs away and then go from there and do some search outside of the box some of the things that we talked about today research it try it see what happens uh but you know you might like the results yep awesome but yeah jim's been a great guest this shit's actually been super interesting for us we're gonna for sure go check out that meditation place and we'll probably give you guys an update next podcast a little update what we're doing here too is we're gonna start doing them every other week i think that's gonna allow us more time to have shit to talk about it's not just going to be dumb stories of us partying anymore we want to bring a little yeah we want to bring some seriousness into it as well some more shit like what jim just brought for us so yeah we got a lot of stuff planned for the future if you're still listening you're a real one you can say the code word meditation and dm it to me or gilbert on instagram and we're gonna send you a free in orbit sticker so uh yeah, that's it. We're going to wrap it up. This was One Sip Sunday. I am in Orbit Dubs. And I'm Gilbert Gooch-Smith. Thank you guys for listening. Can we get a round of applause?